In the KVU Crime Files tonight, it may be one of the weirdest crimes in Austin's history. A man poisoned the Treaty Oak downtown. An arborist scrambled to keep it alive. Tonight, KVU's Bob Buckaloo takes a look back at the bizarre story of why that man tried to kill it. A mighty oak tree carrying the weight of history. Here for 600 years on a plot of land on Baylor Street in busy downtown Austin. This is the Treaty Oak, so named because historians say treaties between Native American tribes and the Republic of Texas were signed underneath its towering branches so long ago. But not so long ago, this tree nearly died. Its brush with death began in the spring of 1989. That's when Austin City Forester discovered that it was ill. And you can see the symptoms on the leaf here, how the, the veins are, are in between the veins are kind of dying out. The experts ruled out oak wilt. Instead, it was something sinister. A chemical analysis showed that a deadly herbicide had been poured around the tree. Arborists and botanists from around the country worked to save the tree. They installed a sprinkler system. They fed it a constant solution of sugar and water, and they removed the ground around it. As news of the poisoning spread, there was an outpouring of concern across Austin and beyond for the tree that was suffering. The people of Austin responded, you know, with outrage and love, and people came here and prayed and dropped off, you know, the chicken soup and that sort of money. They left money, crystals. The mystery of who would try to kill the treaty oak was big news around the country. Network TV newscasts showed up to document a most unusual case of attempted murder. Who would want to murder a tree. The answer came a few weeks later when police arrested Paul Stedman Cullen, who told a friend he poisoned the tree. She went to the police and they had her wear a secret recording device, which captured his confession. Police charged him with criminal mischief. It came out in trial that he was in love with his counselor at his methadone clinic. And uh, he, he drew a magic circle at the base of the tree and it would put in something of, or his burned love or whatever. And so as that tree would die, so would his love or her die. Uh, and so it was like a magic ritual or, or some sort of spell or something like that. It wasn't clear whether the ritual was to win her back or to end his obsession for her. Cullen also told his friend that he hated trees anyway because he was forced to plant so many of them when he was in prison for a previous crime. Cullen changed his story at trial and said he didn't do it, but a jury found him guilty and sentenced him to nine years in prison, though he served only three. And as for all those efforts and all that money to save the tree, success. It's thriving again, although it still carries the scars from its near-death experience 30 years ago. And as volunteer arborists gather regularly to tend to the tree, for the man who first discovered the tree was sick, there is a personal connection. I met this wonderful girl and I was going to get married to her. Underneath the treaty oak, right where the little baby tree is, I knelt down and, and proposed to my wife in 1987. I chose this tree to propose to my wife and this guy tried to kill it. You know, it's pretty personal. So, but obviously, I'm still married and the tree is doing great. During the time the tree was sick, Austinites brought home hundreds of seedlings from the treaty oak and planted them around the city. So who knows, some of the oak trees we see around Austin today may have had a very famous ancestor. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News.